She was very nearly unconscious, very dazed, thought she was dying, and said, Mum, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> so that was when we knew that she'd broken something. I was quite a daredevil child, so I climbed right up to the very top and mum was going, you know, don't go any further. A lot of speed, no brakes, she couldn't dig her feet in. I didn't see the rest until she somersaulted three times in the air like a rag doll. What, what's happened to me? I was very confused. I wasn't 100% sure about what was going on. I just remember thinking to myself, I can't feel my legs. The helicopter arrived and I didn't want to get on. I, I didn't know what to do and Blair said, Joe, you've got to go. That night, they sat us down and said, Jamie's going to be in a chair for the rest of your life. And at that moment, um, it just, just seemed not real. And uh, it took a long time to process that. How could they not um, fix my daughter? And I asked mum, well, how are they going to put a cast around my whole back to fix it? because I didn't even think that maybe I might need surgery. Because I was so young, it helped me just to adapt way easier and, and pick up my new life in the chair much easier than maybe someone who had already grown up able-bodied. We talked to her and said, she would never be alone through this, so she didn't ever have to be scared. We were told not to look into the future, just to take each day at a time, so we did that. But one of the biggest things was actually watching people watch Jamie and stare at her, and they couldn't figure out why she was in the chair, but we told her she just needed to smile. She went into a room, be the first one to say hello. She would light up the room, actually, yeah. People were always inspired by her, because of her smile. Knowing that we have got ACC to help us, it's been such a blessing. It has been amazing. I don't know how we would have done it actually without them. As soon as the accident happened and Jamie and I were in Auckland, ACC contacted my husband because he was still down in Hamilton. Threw a team together with physios, OT, psychologist, uh, building team. They were able to modify a bathroom straight away for us to use when we came home. I could contact the ACC case manager at any time and then through her journey, they've helped her purchase a car, get adaptions done on that. And actually once she got her car, she was away. She was free. She's hardly home now. I just really rate her, you know, she never makes a, a deal about it. She just carries on and, and works really hard. I think there's a lot more to come for Jamie, you know, with, with her career. We don't have enough people in minority positions, I suppose you'd say. She's changed a lot of the attitudes about people. When I was 16, I kind of thought, how am I either going to be independent. I didn't really think it was possible. It's a horrible thing that happened, but the things that accident has taught me and how much I've grown and kind of learnt over the last 10 years has had a huge impact in my life. I'm fully independent now and I'm, and I'm really happy and I'm really proud of myself for that. <laughs>